Well, hello. Welcome to our Holy Communion that is going to be taken at home with our family and with your family and friends. We have Mrs. Macon here today. Welcome, Mrs. Macon. Glad to be here. You know, this is a special service for you and your family, and God's presence is connected with us through uh, the Holy Spirit. You know, we're one together. One together when we're apart, one together when we are in the same building together. I hope you have everything ready. If not, listen to my other communion directives on the uh, MZOV YouTube channel and also subscribe to that channel as well so we can all, all, always keep you updated. Well, we're now ready to continue. And let's start with the question. The question is, how do I have Holy Communion in my home? I'm not in church, not with the pastor. How can I have Holy Communion in my home? And how do I create a communion service at home? We might have to do this for several months during these uh, crises time. First, create a worship uh, atmosphere. You can set up, you can set the lights low in your home. You can set in a comfortable uh, place with your Bibles and you should turn your Bibles to scriptures. Scriptural reference for communion. For example, you need to uh, have your Bible maybe to Matthew 26, starting at verse 26, or Mark 14, starting at verse 22, or Luke 22, starting at verse 19, or my favorite, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 23. And then set up your communion radio station on Pandora or whatever radio service uh, you use. Uh, start with some of your favorite songs. And if you know how to thumb up and thumb down, you can create your own tracks and ultimately have your own Holy Communion station. It will then be yours and you can play the listening of songs so, uh, however you like uh, during these communion services. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Here's a few song options that you can get on your station. You can get started this way. Wait, maybe you'd like to uh, put in nothing but the blood. I love that song. Or break every chain. That's what we need to do is break some chains. Or fill me up, Lord. Or amazing grace. Or precious Lord. Whatever you like, uh, you can put it in there. And then you ought to have yourself the uh, elements. You ought to have your crackers at home. Uh, you ought to have your grape juice already. The crackers represent the body of Christ. The grape juice represents the blood. So let us begin. And let us also end with prayer. And thanksgiving to God for allowing us the freedom to worship even in our home. That's how you do it. You start with prayer and you end up with prayer. And you think about the redemption of Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, you just sing yourself right on up into a shout. And you even end up in a shout at the end of your service. Maybe you might shout to the song, Jesus, keep me near the cross. And some of those other marvelous gospel music what I call of the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Remember to keep it basic. Keep it about Jesus. Again, don't get caught up in making it too ritualistic. No, you really don't want to do that. You know, we have a tendency to get caught up in the grandeur, uh, trying to uh, make things bigger and better. And, uh, you know, I get that. But we're doing this for Jesus Christ and what he did for us on Calvary. And we want to give it everything. We want to make, it sh make sure that it's about him, not about us, because he is the one who is extra special and extra great in our salvation. But we should remember, there was nothing showy about the first communion service. It was in the upper room. God doesn't need a grand event. He needs our grand heart, our whole heart. All other things fade away, but we should simply come with a heart of thanksgiving remembering Jesus, Jesus, and giving our hearts over to him during this Holy Communion service. Let us not get caught up in rules or the planning. Let's get caught up in our hearts connected with Jesus Christ. So I hope this helped you make uh, this uh, special time of uh, worship and help make it uh, come alive in your own home. You can have church in your house. Remember, Whatever you do, invite the Holy Spirit to be a part of this communion service and let the Holy Spirit take its lead, his lead in the service. Whatever you do, don't use this as a complete replacement for attending your own church service, your own church home service, your own church home communion service where you gather with people. For that is too what we call the fellowship of God. Let's pray. Eternal God, our Father, we come today. We thank you for this time. We thank you for allowing us to be here today. We thank you 
for the precious blood that uh, gives us cleansing of our sin. We thank you for the bread that represents your body. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. This is a proof of God's love towards us. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you see, you are forgiven. And so this is about being forgiven of our sins because of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that he took the bread and the wine. He took the bread and the wine and he prepared it after the meal. Let us pray over the bread and the fruit of the vine. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for the bread that represents your body. We thank you for the fruit of the vine that represents your blood. The Bible says on the night in which he, in which he gave himself for us, he took bread, he gave thanks to them, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. Let us eat together. And then he, he took the cup. The Bible says when supper was, when supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to it, thanks, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my new covenant. This is my new testament. This is my new agreement that was poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Let us drink together. And he added, drink ye all of this. He said, do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. We are remembering him. Come on, let's pray now. And this time we're going to pray the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray it together as a closing prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, you've just had Holy Communion in your home. You've joined the Makings family and the First family. God bless you. We love you. Let me give you this final blessing of dismissal. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I hope to see you on Sunday. We've got two services. It's going to be a marvelous worship experience. Invite somebody to the church in the drive.